Hey, are you in a completely different career right now, but you're considering moving into the Agile space? Do you already have an interview lined up for an Agile role, maybe a scrum master, a coach, or maybe you even have a potential consulting client and you want to know what to do to get ready? How can you get ready before you get going, before you get started? You're in luck. This is exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Four simple steps for getting ready. Hi, my name is Dawn Nicole McElwain, and I'd like to welcome you to this channel if this is your first time, or if you're rejoining, welcome back. You know that on this channel, we talk about all things acing your agile career from beginning to winning based off of my new book. And listen, speaking of the new book, today I'm going to give you these four simple steps, but I'm going to give it to you with the method that I teach, that I coach towards, and that I use personally. It is called the ACES arsenal because we're going to ace our career we need an aces arsenal a set of toolkits so today i'm going to describe the readiness framework using the aces arsenal so let's jump in number one the ace of clubs whether you want to be a scrum master an agile coach or even an independent or industry agile consultant you need the ace of clubs which really represents your community the sphere of influence the people you know so what do you need to do to get connected you need to lean into meetup groups you want to understand what groups are already happening be it on linkedin on facebook figure out what types of events are already taking place as well on like eventbrite and get yourself invited it's all about community, my friends, and staying close to the campfire. Who's the who's who? Who are who or what are they doing in the agile space? Where do they work? And how do you get connected? By you leaning in, you'll quickly figure out who's who and who you want to stay connected to long term and who you want to follow. So that's number one, Ace of Clubs. Number two, the ace of diamonds. Now, when we think about diamonds in waking life, diamonds are typically treasured prized possessions. So in this case, your ace of diamonds are going to be your agile certifications, your agile skills, your agile knowledge. Now, chances are, if you're just getting into this industry, it might be very limited with those certifications. So I would start with certifications, making sure that if you want to be a scrum master, you get that scrum master certification. And I'm not going to say an agile coaching certification. If you're just getting started, you kind of have to start with understanding what the scrum master does and then going for that agile coaching piece and then understanding the consultancy piece. And listen, there are some links on the screen that can help you with that. There's some great, great certifications out there, including the CATP, which is the Certified Agile Transformation Professional. I think we flashed it on the screen, but the point is is your ace of diamonds would be your assets, those prized possessions that you look to utilize toward the agile space. Again, your certifications, your knowledge, your experience. If you don't have true agile experience just yet, what do you have that is transferable into the agile space? If you were a project manager or you were a program leader or you ran a nonprofit, really understanding how you can transfer those skills is helpful. Listen, I deep dive into this even more in my book, Ace Your Agile Career from Beginning to Winning. So if you want to pre-order the book for me to go deeper, do so. But my point is that the diamonds are the assets that you can bring forward, list those out, know what they are and know what you might still need. Okay. So again, it's going to be a certification and framework and specific to the role that you want. Okay, let's move on. Number three, the ace of hearts is just like what it sounds. What do you love doing? So the ace of hearts is sort of that God given talent, that natural space that you have irrespective of industry or career. So if you're naturally a theater person like I am <laughs> or a film person or music person, an artsy person or Maybe you're already um, someone who gets involved with charitable cause um, causes. Think about what you love doing. So yes, there's the agile framework. Yes, there are these agile careers, but what what is heart centered to you? And as a result, what types of industries or what types of companies would you like to work with? What's nice is that agile really transcends um, industries and careers and sectors. There's agile in everything. There's agile in the home buying industry, agile in new 
construction, agile in pharmaceuticals, agile in financial. So, so figure out your sweet spot. What do you enjoy doing? What do you love? So that's the ace of hearts is really knowing that about yourself because that can be your signature secret sauce. And then finally, number four strategy, your ace of spades. Let's talk about the ace of spades. So the ace of spades, think of a spade as a tool that can open up a door. So now that you understand your community through the ace of clubs, you understand your ace of diamonds, the assets that you're going to bring forward to this industry. You understand your love, like I love, you know, doing this thing with the ace of hearts. Now it's time to talk about the ace of spades, the strategy that will get you in the door. So what will be your strategy between where you are and where you want to be? Well, as we know, a strategy is not necessarily what, but it's how you will do the what. So as you think about what you want, think about the companies you want to work for. Start with the top five list. These are the absolute companies I would love to work for. And the nice thing about Agile, it doesn't necessarily matter where they are all the time because you can operate in an Agile capacity in a virtual space. So that's a nice to know about Agile. So think about your top five companies, regardless of where they are. And then after you put down your top five companies and why these companies made your shortlist, why they are important to you. Obviously, you want to go to the website. You want to find out what, what the Agile open roles are. You want to apply for the role that appeals to you, whether it's a Scrum Master role, uh, coaching, or independent consultant, or industry consultant. Find out what they're hiring for. Um, from there, obviously apply, but don't stop there. Make the next part of your strategy, connecting on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a masterful platform for building relationships and connections. I should know I have about 24-ish thousand uh, connections on there that I absolutely value. So make the connection on LinkedIn, introduce yourself, reach out, send a connection request to some of those hiring managers. Or if you don't know who the hiring manager is, um, simply do a search for that company, find out who's in hiring and recruiting, connect to them and let them know that you already applied. By the way, please already apply because that shows that you're being proactive. And now as a second step, you're connecting. From there, build that relationship. Um, so that is part of your strategy, knowing what you wanna be, who you wanna be that to, who you need to get in front of and start moving it forward. So my friends, this has been your ACEs Arsenal Toolkit from new book, Ace Book. I hope you found this video helpful. If you got a ton of value, certainly like, certainly subscribe, and put in the comments which of these things you're already doing. All right, until next time, this is Dawn Nicole, where I give you real advice as a real practitioner in my real office. And as always, keep it real and continue to ace your agile career. Take care.